Igbo billionaire Prince Arthur Eze says that in order for the Igbo to realize their dream of producing the president of Nigeria in 2023, they must work with the North. In this interview, which Namdi Ujiegu conducted in his Upo country house in the Dunukofia region in the state of Anambra, Eze shows why he is bringing Governor Willie Obiano to court and supporting President Muhammadu Buhari, among others. Recently, some parties have requested that an Igbo become president of Nigeria in 2023. How do you see that? He said, listen, I have no objection because only God can make anyone president, including the Igbo person. It is possible that an Igbo person will become Nigeria's president in 2023. To do this, however, we need to work with the North. Again, we will pray to God to find an Igbo man with character to help people. I would prefer someone who has conscience, someone who remembers people. I don't care where he or she comes from. During President Jonathan's time, we had the Federation Government Secretary, SDF, Pius Ayim. What did he do for Igbo people? He brought Julius Beggar and they paved his, his own streets. Okay. The one who leads to his house, all of our roads were bad. It is President Buhari who is now paving our streets. Check out Enugu on Icha Road, Enugu Portacourt Road and Second Niger Bridge. He went and modernized Zeke's grave. Did Jonathan do that? Does one of these governors in the southeast ask, ask if you eat or not? For example, in the state of Anambra, the Dunukofia local government area earns approximately 150 million naira a month. Did Governor Obiano build anything in Dunukofia? Did he bring an industry to Anambra? Tell me, your children, where are you going tomorrow? Go to Yoruba country in Ogun. You will see industries. Go to rivers and you will see branches. I started policies when I was very young. My father was a member of the Eastern ha House of Chiefs during the time of Namdi Azikiwe and then Premier Okpara. I always opened doors to politicians when they came by and my father didn't oppose any leader. Be it Yoruba or Hausa, it is not in our blood. We prefer to live in peace with everyone. For the Igbo to become president, they must love themselves and work in other regions. We have to learn from Namdi Azikiwe. Zik was a wise man. During his time, he built bridges with the north through the Sokoto and Tafawa Balewa Saudana, Sauduna. It is important that we emulate Zik in our life as a people at this point. The gem of discord between the north and Indibu should be completely broken so that both regions can maintain a harmonious relationship for the benefit of all. You said Northerners love the Igbo. Why did you say so? He said, yes, I said that because after the Civil War, when Igbo properties in rivers and other areas were confiscated, the Northerners did not confiscate anything. In fact, they returned all Igbo properties, including the money they earned. So Northerners are nice. When I went north, they didn't know who I was, but they supported me and helped me start business. Abubakar Rimi, governor of the Second Republic of Kano, gave me $12 million for Kano TV in 1980 when I didn't have a Naira. Hmm. He called Governor La and gave me places for $12 million. $12 million. It was the same in Casina, Bono, and Kaduna. They took me to the oil business. They didn't care where I came from. Tell me any Igbo man who can. Hmm. We have learned that you are bringing the traditional Anambra rulers to President Buhari. What is the purpose of the visit? He said, yes, the Anambra State Council of Traditional Rulers had a meeting with me. The goal of the meeting was to access President Buhari's performance in the Southeast and to teach a resolution for a thank you visit to the President. Do you see everything he does for us? Did you see the Onicha Enugu Road? It is the best in Africa. What about Onicha Enugu Street, Enugu Portacourt Street, Enugu Airport, Second Niger Bridge and many others? 
Buhari built and decorated the museum, mausoleum of the Zig. Only a northerner can do that. Basically, we are visiting the president to thank him for the numerous completed and ongoing development projects in the southeast and to ask him to complete ongoing projects. We will also use the visit to ask him to dredge the Niger so that ships moored on the river can help our people, most of whom are importers. Anambra we elect another governor by next year and there is this argument about zoning. Where do you stand on this topic? He said this point, the point is if you see a good man, no matter where he comes from, go and help him. Let them have the opportunity provided there is a good person from this area, not a criminal who deals with people when he gains power. Any minority man who has no power should be admitted. Be this is the case. This is because God can change situations at any time if you don't. What can we say about this? Do you think that uh, Eze, Ato Eze has said the right thing because he's praising the president to high heavens and he has made mention of a uh, rules of the things that a uh, Buhari has done for the East uh, Easterners that even somebody who is from that area, even all those governors cannot even do it. And that's why he said, even when Gulag Jonathan was there, what did he do? You know, this issue of uh, himself between Aim, they've been going back and forth, going back and forth. And I am Paris Aim has been saying, This man has any little opportunity that this man has, he will be mentioning his name. And Aim has already come out to say, No, he has been so quiet, not trying to trade west with this, uh, this uh, man. But it is high time for him to respond. And he said a lot of things which we talked about. And from what he's saying, that the Igbos must work together with the Northerners. The question is that, I, I'm always asking that question. Everybody is talking about, it must be this, it must be this. Is it not supposed to be somebody who is going to deliver? Because if Igbo people, if we have Igbo presidency, it's still the same thing. Because it's, I just think that it is all about, oh, let other people who have not tasted the power, let them do it. But it goes beyond that. And that is why we're not moving forward. It goes beyond that. It now it then means that if they get it, then they will continue to do the same thing the northerners are doing. The same thing those who have had power before now, other regions who have had power, the same thing they are going to do. So what are we talking about? Everybody just talking about the same thing. And they are not talking about somebody who has the mind to do everything. Because believe you me, we are so tribalistic. Believe you me, the same thing that's the northerners are doing by the time the Igbo person comes in, the same thing they are going to be doing. Nobody is talking about anybody who is there. You must treat everybody equally. You must do the same thing for everybody. But I think uh, after Eze is, you know, from what he said, those who are living in that area, those who are living in those places he has mentioned, will be able to tell us whether those places have really been, uh, they've really. That maybe development has really come into that those places whether they have built all the things that he has said they will be able to testify to what he has said but another major thing that the easterners are are suffering from even the whole nigeria but especially the easterners they are suffering from is this issue of insecurity and this issue of ipop i don't know why he did not even address that because they will just pick small portion of what a government or a particular person has done that is what they they are going to be singing the song from time to time and like i like i have always noticed and i've seen it there is no government no matter how clueless people can describe that government they must do one thing or the other they must do small thing or they must do something and whether that thing is what the people need or it's what the people really want at that particular time or it is more paramount or is it just the same thing like you know moving around circles like we always ask in the scale of one to ten how do we categorize those things that they always do? Even during Good Luck Jonathan, you will, you will notice that he, has, he did some things in some places, but whether it is what can really go around the country, if that is exactly what they are doing, that is what we are asking. So there is no government that will not do one or two things. But what we are saying is that their best is not just enough because what they are doing is nothing in the scale of one to ten. You can't, they can't, you can't give them two marks. You can't give them. 
That's what we are saying. So they must do one or two things. And all of those uh, little, little things they are doing, that is why some that is where some people will not be singing to high heavens that you have to see these little things that they have done. Then every other thing you have to cancel it. You know, don't bother about every other thing. That is what has been happening. So he's singing the praises of Buari. It's not as if they will just sit down. They will they will do something, they will tell you they are doing something. Whether it is what that what they are doing, whether it's what it that is another question. Now he said, uh, uh, "Good luck, Jonathan. Uh, good luck, Jonathan. Did not do uh, anything for the people. But if you go to the, some people will tell you, oh, he built a imagery. Oh, they will make mention of many, many things that he has done. But whether it's up to what the, what that what we bring development to the country is another thing entirely. Even about John, they will tell you he did this, 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 and this. Even uh, the little time Yara Dra had, he still did. They will tell you he did this and this and this and that. Then if people begin to shout." All of those things, then it's as good as not even blaming anybody. Then we should just be comfortable with all of those things. So it goes beyond that. It goes beyond that. Well, I thought is a Ndibu uh, don't want to produce president of Nigeria come 2023 unless Nigeria is restructured. Without restructuring of Nigeria prior to presidential election of 2023, the southeastern eastern state of Nigeria must secede from nigeria or a biafra mm. you say your brother to fulani hmm. do you mean Aousa or fulani they are asking a easy for all that he has said so guys uh, let us hear your opinion leave your comment below and let's have your take on what you said that northerners love the Igbos and they need to work together leave your comments and let's have your take